I told him to cut it out. I was going to take my business elsewhere if he was going to make nursery rhymes. He signaled to his maids who crowded around me and left me no escape. He was rude and staring and demanded my papers, some evidence of my existence, which I didn't have, and began interrogating me like he thought somebody sent me, like I was a narc or a snitch of some kind. What do you mean who sent me? I sent myself. I had a score. Nobody moved, and I refused to be intimidated. I'm your goddamn paycheck. That's all there is to it, Black. I'm your eggs benedict, your tequila sunrise, your staycation until the money runs out. What else would I be? And why the hell does it matter? The others, they were all staring too, but... It seemed as though they had no eyes, for I did not feel their eyes upon me. I imagined they were China dolls. Black spoke to them in another language, a sing-songy soup with octave displacement, like the language was leaving his body and entering the air from the walls. They began to do this synchronized head-nodding thing, like they had been trained alongside a bunch of pigeons. That's when I backed up and searched for the door. There would be no escape. They set upon me like a pack of dogs. I wasn't going anywhere.